Let's discuss the difference between a power station and LifePo 4 batteries on an RV. We're going to discuss the pros and cons of each of these types of power sources and uh, you know, see what's best for you in your situation. So we're going to start with the power stations. So these are the, uh, you know, it's basically it's a battery. It's a power inverter, pure sign, and it's a MPPT charge controller, all built into one unit. And they generally run from anywhere from, you know, really, really small units to 2000 watt hour units. And the, the pros of these are, there's some good stuff to them. Uh, the pro is they're simple. You know, you don't have to install or know how to install these devices because it's all prepackaged and there's no, you know, complex installation process. And because they're portable, you can also pull them out. So you can use it in your RV and then when you're going somewhere else, you can just pull it out and take it somewhere else. They also have different sizes so you can get you know, the big 2000 watt hour ones, or you can get the smaller uh, Jackery style ones, the little ones. And each one has a different purpose, you know, for what it does. So the cons of them are, they are very cost costly items. So even the 2000 watt hour one, you're gonna pay, you know, $1,300 for this item. And then if you need to upgrade it, it's gonna cost you another maybe $1,000 to upgrade it. So you can have, $2,300 tied into this battery set. And it's, it's you know, very cost, uh, it costs a lot of money for what it is and the size of the power that it puts out. Another thing is, um, if you look at the warranties on these items, they don't last as long. So you're not gonna get, you know, 12, 15 years out of these items compared to a LifePo 4 battery uh, system. So the longevity of them is a little bit of a downside. Uh, the other issue is they, uh, when you're upgrading them, they they kind of have, some of them have limits and they're just not the greatest for if you're, um, like if you're just running it for pure RV use, then your cost for these items isn't just going to be, isn't going to be efficient was what I'm trying to say. Now, let's talk about LifePo 4. So, uh, you may already know I run LifePo 4 on my RV and I have uh, a 280 amp hour battery. I have uh, by the way, it's eco-worthy, and the reason why I say I mentioned that name, I'm not paid by them, but the cost of that product to the quality of the product is worth it because it's 500 bucks for a 280 amp hour battery, and that is equal to 3,450 watt hours, which is almost double of uh, what those power stations put out. So you figure 500 bucks for almost double the power of a power station that costs 1,300 dollars. Now you do have to pay for an inverter and an MPPT charge controller, which brings everything up to $750. But upgrading is great on a LiPo 4 because while I have $750 in this system, upgrading to double the power, I just spend 500 bucks more for a new battery and I just doubled my power on that system. So it's really, really cheap to double your power. Uh, you can think of it this way. My, you know, having four times the amount of power that a power station has, um, it's the same price. So I get four times the power, same price as a power station. But you can sit, really see the difference between, you know, the LiPo 4 systems. Now, the cons of LiPo 4 is you have to install it. So there's a, you know, a little learning curve of installing, installing this to uh, 12 volt systems. And then there's a 110 volt system kind of in it. So there's a little bit of a learning curve and it depends on what level you want to install it at. So, you know, if you tie it into the entire RV system, then yeah, there's a big uh, structure that you have to create. But um, I got a video right here that shows you how to install a LiPo, an MPPT charge controller and the power inverter where you don't have to tie it to your RV system and you get like outlets on the wall and it just makes it so you you don't have to do a complex uh, system to get almost the same output. So that's why I created that video. It just makes it simple and makes it so anybody can almost do this. So uh, let's talk about pluses on LiPo 4. The amount of power you get for the dollar. You get uh, 
at least two times, three times, and if you go into a bigger storage size, you get four times the amount of power for the dollar. So you get tons of power for the dollar amount. Uh, it's customizable. That's another thing is I can add extra battery banks. I can add uh, a different size of a uh, power inverter to the system uh, up to your uh, BMS uh, management system. Now, the 280 amp hour battery, which EcoWorthy has, is 200 uh, amps out. So it actually puts a lot of uh, amps out. You can do a lot with that. Uh, I think it's up to 2400 watts of output with that amount of power. Now you could uh, double up your batteries and get more, but uh, in my opinion, you, you don't need more than 2400 watts ever of uh, power coming out of these battery banks. 2400 watts is a ton of power. And in my situation, I even went lower. I went to 1200 watts. And uh, you can see another video of mine, the reason why I kept everything 1200 watts and below, because it, it keeps uh, costs down. It keeps solar panel costs down. It keeps the uh, battery banks down. It keeps everything lower. So uh, like I said, check out that video. It's a good video to learn about uh, all the reasonings behind you know why you need to keep these power levels down. So uh, that's pretty much it for uh, you know power station to uh, LiPo 4 batteries in an RV. Uh, you know, being able to take it out anywhere you want to go, power stations are king. And uh, power stations have smaller ones like the Jackeries, and those are king because you know you can't really do that with uh, LiPo 4 batteries. You could, but then you're going to be into the higher costs. So those little Jackeries are very cost efficient for what they're doing. And uh, my opinion, if you're powering your entire RV and you're you know running an air conditioner and things like that, then you really need LiPo 4 because uh, the cost, you know, dollar per dollar for what watt hours and amp hours you're getting out of these things, you're going to get so much more out of the LiPo 4 than these uh, power stations. So, and like I said, these are all my opinions, but I'm just trying to give you as many facts as I can about this stuff, and you can make your own uh, opinion on this stuff. So uh, that's it, and uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, because you all make it happen.